Hi guys, unfortunately there won't be any farming simulator let's play video out today but I decided to help some of you guys out that still don't know how to install the mods. So there'll be links down below to both websites that I show you. Uh, firstly I'll show you how to install the mods. You have to go into your documents folder, my games, farming simulator 2013 and here is a mods folder. As you can see I've got a couple of mods installed. So there's two websites. This is the official farming simulator website and then there's LSUK also another FSUK, sorry, another good modding website. So on this main website, all we have to do is just choose a mod that we like, say the placeable fertilizer tank. Click on download, all these are free. Download it according to what operating system we use. Windows for the win, let's go and download that. We're gonna have a bit of patience with Australian internet. Okay, so it seems like it's downloaded. Hurry up, come on, there we go. And then that was the exe file. This mod only does exe files. So all you have to do is just click it once. It does it all for you. You don't have to worry about a single thing. Just download it, click on it to run, and hey presto, it's installed. If we check the mods folder, placeable fertilizer tank is installed. Now there's a second type of mod, which is a, a RAW file. So say we want the vehicle grouping mod, which is a mod that I got in my let's play. Some of you guys might be wondering, because it is a scripting mod, you might think that you might have to put it somewhere else, but no. Let's go download it in a zip folder, which is the second type of mod type that you can have. Vehicle groups is zip. There we go. Let's just minimize this a little bit. All you really have to do is just drag it and drop it into the mods folder. There we go. And there it is. Uh, unfortunately, I already have the mod installed, so that's why it's uh, 01, because I've already got the mod installed, but... That's pretty much the gist of it, how to install mods. It's really, really simple. You just go to Documents. And as you can see, we've got the Dudes Cut. I'll show you that. So this is just another zip folder. All we have to do is just copy that. My Games, Farming Simulator 2013, Mods. Not into your save game, into Mods. Right click, Paste. I guess we must have had it in there already. And there we go. It's already working. While I'm here, I might as well show you something else. If we go into our save game one, and then we go into economy. I've already opened up in the word pad. Uh, at the very bottom, not the very, very bottom, but almost at the bottom, is great demands. And this is also kind of neat. It shows us uh, in the next time we boot up our game where the great demands are going to be. So in the station freight yard, the that's where it is. The fuel type index. So one is wheat, two is barley, three is canola, four is corn. 5 is potatoes and 6 is sugar beets. Demand multiplier, so it'll be 1.9 times uh, when it starts and the hour it starts as well. So it'll start at 2 p.m. and then it'll end at 6 a.m. in the next day. So that's really good as well. So you can have a good look at when the next couple of great demands are going to be. I have tried fiddling around with this, but I haven't really noticed anything. Uh, you can click true to pretend to buy, to cheat your way to buy into some fields as well if you want some. You could buy everything. It's really good just to have a quick look over this if you're interested in uh, getting something a little bit early. You can change the growth rates. And uh, yeah, overall you can also change your money. I might as well show you this. There's too much text over here. Jesus is really hard. But if we look through here, we should be able to see uh, the money that we have. We can change the amount of barley and all the crops, but you guys get the point. You should be able to find it here somewhere. The whole point of this video was just to show you how to install mods anyway. I'm getting a bit carried away. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Hopefully that helped to both guys that wanted mods and just don't know how to check up on your great demands. But until next time, guys, next episode should be an hour and a half or so. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.